Hi coaches, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because every single week we are putting out content to help you with your sports training business. So today I want to focus on how to build a partnership, right? And how to build a long-term partnership with your local power league. So now if you are watching and you are based in the UK, then this video will be of more relevance to you. So for those that are watching and might not know what a power league is, power league is a five-a-side soccer slash a football center. And it's a very common and very popular uh, location that is used by a lot of private trainers within the industry where they either work with clients on a one-to-one -one, uh, basis or in a group or camp type of uh, environment. So today I want to share with you three things that I did have done myself with my business and three things that other coaches that I've either worked with or I've spoken to have implemented within their business to build these a partnership with a known and a local center such as Air Power League. Now a lot of these strategies are things that you can implement this week which will help you to get in front of more players in front of more kids and hopefully if you build a really good relationship with your local power league center you'll be able to hopefully further down the line be able to get a discount off any field or pitch higher so you can train your clients and work with your clients at a discounted rate. So the three things I want to share with you today are number one, uh, birthday parties. Now Power League has a model where they offer a lot of kids birthday parties. So when I was starting my business, one thing I did was I went to visit my local Power League and I spoke to the manager. We arranged the meeting and I said to him, right, what, what, what are you guys currently offering? And what is your very common service that you guys offer to, to, to your customers? And one of the things that he mentioned was they do a lot of uh, Saturday or Sunday birthday parties for kids. So one way of making extra money within your business is to offer your coaching to your local power league and run a weekend birthday parties for them now depending on what setup you have with the power league will depend on how much you get paid and how many hours you get now a lot of the power leagues work on an ad hoc uh, basis which means that they will contact you when a booking comes in in order to get extra coaching hours right so this is a very simple and very basic way of making extra income and forming a really good partnership with your power league and the center manager right because if you do a really good job and they start to value you as a coach and as a person right that can turn into something else so each week you might get two to three birthday parties on the weekend where you come in and you conduct the, a training session for the birthday party okay and you run the birthday party the way power league uh, requires their coaches to do so okay so this is one way of building a long-term partnership okay because if you can get extra coaching hours and do extra birthday parties for them not only do you build an extra bit of income uh, per weekend, but also you build relationships, not only with the decision makers at Power League and management, but also you, you have an opportunity to, to get in front of more parents and players, right? So that's one way of building a long-term partnership with your local power league second way is through kids camps 
right? Now, my local power league, something that they're very uh, famous for is their half-term uh, football camps, right? Something that they run on a on a termly basis, right? So every time there's a holiday or kids are out of school, they will run a kids football camp for ages between six to 14 years old, okay? Now, some power leagues run really, really big camps where they have anywhere between 50 to 100 kids. Other power leagues run bigger camps. So it might be between 100 to 150 kids, okay? Depending on your area and depending on what power league uh, you have within your within your local market right so another way to make extra money another way to get in front of more parents and kids another way to build a good relationship with your local power league a soccer center is to offer your services to run their camps now half-term camps are just one way of building a close partnership Another way could be offering your services to run a clinics. So if you are a goalkeeping coach, for example, and you know that your local power league doesn't do any goalkeeping uh, sessions, right? You guys can come to some sort of agreement with the manager of that power league to say, right, I will run once a week a goalkeeping session for players aged X to X. And in exchange, I keep a percentage of what comes in. All right, so you can, you and the manager can come to some sort of agreement. This could be a 30 70 split, or if you want to do 50 50, right? This really depends on uh, the decision maker, on how much value you're adding to that power league, and what agreement you two come together, okay? But a lot of things could be you could do a shooting clinic where you work with players on their shooting. It could be a, a defending clinic. It could be a skills clinic. It could be a goalkeeping clinic, right? It could be any type of specific clinic that Power League don't offer, right? But it has to be something that is skill specific. Right, so it's not just show up and play, right? Parents are paying for you to solve a specific problem, right? So if your child needs more skill development, then you could run maybe once a week a skill-specific clinic where all your, your drills or, or your activities are based around either shooting or dribbling or passing, okay? And one of those specific areas of the game right so camps and clinics is a very very uh, common one it's a very popular one and it's one that if you do your research you might be able to to partner with your power league your local power league and offer to run a clinic once a week uh, for them okay and you guys you and the decision maker can come to some sort of a commission agreement in terms of the split of the income that comes in as a result of that camp or clinic, right? Now, the third one, and this is something that I've done in the past, and it's a very popular one, okay? But it's one that not a lot of coaches or power league centers do, and that's running uh, workshops for kids, right? So when I talk about workshops, right, this is something that is a topic specific and it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, on the field coaching, right? Something that I've done in the past, I've combined some classroom uh, work with on-field training. So one of the, the workshops that I've done for kids in the past was we did a 30-minute a confidence building workshop where I brought all the players into a classroom environment. I created a four to five page, it was like a page document 
where we go through it together. There's questions, there's team building activities, and it's all related to a specific topic or subject. So if you know that players in your local area need more, more help with their confidence, this workshop could be confidence specific. If you are confident running an injury prevention, okay, that could be something that that you do with the kids, right? You're teaching the kids how to prevent becoming injured during a game, how to stretch more, how to better hydrate their body, okay? And the importance of looking after your muscles after after training, right? Something that's becoming very popular, and this is a really, really common one, is how to uh, maintain an athletic lifestyle, right? In today's environment, there's a lot of kids that are becoming very uh, sedentary, which means that they are spending most of the day sitting down, not doing any activity. So you as the coach, you as the expert, the specialist, could put together a 20 to 30 minute workshop with, with the kids from Power League, right? Where you talk about how to live a, an athletic lifestyle, right? And you can have questions, you can have activities in there, everything's done in the classroom. And then the other half an hour could be an on-field session where you do a drill or an activity or even just have them play a match together right so that is something that i've done in the past it's something that a lot of coaches don't do enough of and it's something that if you were to approach a local power league and you add a lot of value right i can guarantee you they will be uh, open to that idea okay because it's very different it's very new and it's something that isn't very common okay now again with relation to the, the camps and clinics, you can charge an extra fee for your for your workshop. So it might be £10 okay, to attend the workshop. And every sign up you, you get, right, you keep £10 of the profit, right? So if a player usually every week is paying, I don't know, £15 to, to come to the training session, right, for an extra £10, you can add the workshop in to the service and you get a cut from every player that comes into your workshop okay now that's just one idea the way you and the power league management come to to that conclusion right it's it's up to you guys and what is best for you okay so these are three very basic simple ideas that you can implement this week to grow, to scale your, your local coaching business and build a long-term partnership with Power League where you're adding value to their customers and in exchange, you're getting in front of kids, parents, right? And also you're building a good relationship with management that maybe further down the line, they can give you a discount on any field space or field hire, a pitch hire that you rent out in the future to run your private training sessions. Okay, so I hope this video helps. If you do have a local football coaching business in the UK and you want more specific help, there's two ways you can reach out to me. Number one is the cal there'll be a Calendly link in the description of this video. You can click on it and schedule your own 15 to 20 minute call with me at a time and day that suits you. Or you can email me directly at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Send me a message through there. I reply to every single coach that reaches out to me. Okay. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and give you some more specific help with your business. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.